Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome to a nostalgiasm of a game that is nostalgic to many. And I did not grow up playing this game, but it has a lot of game design elements that really are familiar. It is The Elder Scrolls Adventures Redguard. I am dressed the part today, much like our protagonist, and we are going on a pirate adventure in Daggerfall. No, not Daggerfall. Hammerfell. I played Daggerfall yesterday, if you're interested in that. We're going through Hammerfell. There's a lot of things falling in The Elder Scrolls. Anyway, let's go ahead and start this nostalgiasm. It is late in the second era, a time of war, as the Empire of Tiber Septum sweeps through the kingdoms of Tamriel in a glorious bid for conquest. Septum is opposed on all sides, but never more fiercely than by Hammerfell, the ancestral home of the Red Guards. The High King of Hammerfell, Thassard II, resists the Imperial invasions even as he sees other kingdoms crumble. Until at last, without warning and surprisingly devoid of court treachery, death takes its full measure. With its High King dead, Hammerfell is crippled, plunging into a bloody civil war between the crowns, fighting for their homeland's continued sovereignty, and the forebears, who have finally accepted the Emperor's rule. The crowns, led by the heir to Facade, Prince Ator, are continually victorious, spilling the blood of the forebears across Hammerfell's sands. From his seat of power in the port city of Stos Makai, Prince Ator slowly reunites his father's unraveled kingdom. Feeling their impending defeat, the forebears sign a pact with the Emperor, allowing him to bring his armies in, crush the crowns, and rule Hammerfell as his own. Tiber Septim's armies prove too much for the proud Red God crowns. Tiber Septim sends his best commander, Lord Richton, to Stros Makai to close the grip on Prince Ator and the crowns. The prince rallies his forces for one last stand. Knowing that Hammerfell's sovereignty is at stake, the crown forces match the might of the Empire, meeting them in the harbor of Stros Makai for the final battle. The fighting is fierce. Lord Richton, having seen the Prince's victories at sea before, decides to bring his last resource to the fore. The dragon, Nathalilagos, proud jewel of the Imperial Crown. 
Ator commands his archers to ready their weapons, but is struck down himself by Richton's assassin, felled by an arrow whose poison spreads too fast. Ator's wizard attempts to save the prince, but the dragon ends his magic and the crown's hope for victory in a single fiery breath. Having conquered the crowns, the Emperor's forces claim rule over all of Hammerfell. Imperial garrisons are stationed at every city, and Richton himself is named Provisional Governor of Stros Mackay. Months pass. The Red Guards of Hammerfell, both Crown and Forbear, learn to live under the new Imperial rule, and Tiber Septim extends his reach into the rest of Tamriel. It is only through fate that any of this will come to concern our hero, Cyrus. A red guard who long ago left Hammerfell to wander the borderlands of the Empire. Krimia, Cyrus. Eto for wakets or okodor. Let's make this short, Sarathra. I've got work to do. Balizyahatratatami. Sitchu. I'll leave with Duardin's men in an hour. When Rigi in Tnor, who co o imperial ja, eco po fam rotot velk. You should know, you got me the job. Am trajir. Sratra kol kote roto hammerfell, boshe in rot. The seal is broken. Sratra warrega. Yeah, I bet you were. No codwadin, Sratra X, Sratra X, Kail. Izara. Rolita Dek Kaudor. I need a ship. To board the Koi, Sratra Nakovic, Warabarashi. Money too. Sri Dwadin Ja, Epako Ja, Srik. Poor Sratra, Kado Eliter Beko? We haven't spoken in ten years. There was trouble. Kakadar. I killed her husband. Hamapel's prodigal son, Cyrus, returns to the province of his birth. He buys passage to the island of Strosmakai in the hopes of rescuing his sister, Izab. Below is what the pilot said to the wet haired maids before him. The Restless League is claiming this cargo, said the other with cruel, cruel clarity. Probably wouldn't make a difference if I told you I had no time for this. This is about Red Guard armor, boy. Stand aside. Yes, a doubtful notion it is. Piracy and politics. But there you have it. Never been much for politics. In my day, piracy was honest work. Don't be a hero, boy. Where's the money in that? And yea, verily, by his bravery, they were impressed for a scant few seconds. <laughs> I love that guy. Okay. You're rusty, boom over. No! I'm gonna... I've played this bit before in testing. We've killed one pirate. Got it. Cyrus, Captain, good to see you back in command. Ah, please call me Brennan. You disposed of those ruffians so quickly, I had no time to retrieve my sword from my cabin. Not so, hmm? Look, over there! Let us move on, before more show up! That's the intro to Red Guard. You know, the voice acting, bit cheesy, but actually I kind of like it.
I like it actually. And I actually mostly the writing is surprisingly it's cheesy and weird, but also I kinda like it. It's not bad. It's not bad actually. <laughs> For a scant few seconds. Here we are, docking into I hope this letter finds your hands, friend. My latest travels have brought me to Stross Mackay, and no one here has seen your sister for three months. I fear the worst. I feel obligated to stay for a few weeks. I'll be at the Dragon Tail Inn should you return. Tobias. Tobias in the Dragon Tail Inn. And here we are in the game. We have full control. Uh, the water is just loud. We can't do much about that. Because uh, then the voices are very quiet if I turn the water down. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Uh, this game, though... It's... it's... it reminds me a lot of Star Wars droid works. <laughs> Moving around and doing things like this. But also, the 90s was a pirate era of video games. Uh, the fighting, obviously, a bit like Sid Meier's Pirates. Uh, there were a lot of other pirates games. Games just called Pirates. Uh, Monkey Island, and hmm. so on. Lots of pirate stuff. Uh, it was a thing. It was a thing. And uh, this is just unlike any other Elder Scrolls game. Ah, Sire. And how do you do? That you've played. But it is fully voice acted, which is interesting. It looks very expensive. The year is 1998. And also, one reason why we're jumping into this game now is because of the hints from the Elder Scrolls Twitter hinting that the Elder Scrolls 6 might be set in Hammerfell and maybe High Rock. Hmm. Uh, so we checked out Daggerfall uh, recently, uh, updated, modded into Unity for 2021. It's basically been remastered. And here, this is a DOS game. It's not been remastered, but it's also set in Hammerfell. So I want to check this out. Let's talk to the captain and see if we can get some information. Ah, Sire. And how do you do? Brennan, can I have a minute? Anything for your like, Cyrus. Okay, so Isara is my sister. We're here to find our sister whose husband we killed. And thus we had a, a, a bit of an altercation, I think. I am looking for my sister Isara. Perhaps you have heard of her. I'm afraid not. Before the Empire cleaned things up, Stross Mackay was a pirate haven, avoided by honest merchants like myself. Alright, uh, Stross Mackay, tell me about it. How has Stross Mackay fared under its new Imperial Masters? The locals are still chafing at the bit, but in time, they will come to appreciate the benefits of membership in the Empire. That's so, hmm? I like the whole political undertow on everything. What do you think of the Empire? This guy's obviously pro-Empire. The Empire has done well in its conquest of Hammerfell, you think? Absolutely. No offense, but Hammerfell is in need of some law and order. Hmm. Such as the Pirate Haven. It seems the Empire has not eliminated all the pirates from Strokes Mackay. Apparently so. They've become bold, attacking a ship so far into Hunding Bay. But give it time, the Empire has only been here a few months. Now, what about the League? Uh, the, the League was the pirates that just attacked us. The pirates who attacked us spoke of a restless League. Have you heard of them? Other captains tell me the remaining banditti have organized themselves against the Empire's crackdown on smuggling and piracy. And we are looking for the Dragon Tail. I am meeting a friend at the Dragon Tail. Can you direct me? I can't recommend it, but it's the only drink hall in this godforsaken town. Up the bridge, you see to the right, through the gate to the town square, you will see the sign. All right. Bye. Thanks. We'll talk later. Okay. Now, this is a very much one-handed game. Everything is done with one hand on the keyboard. There's no mouse controls. So, uh, 
you can unsheathe your sword, you can attack with it, but be careful, the guards don't like it when you take out your sword and start swinging at people. Also, you're not- it actually prevents you from killing quest characters. Uh, so for example, if I unsheathe my sword and try to attack our friend here... Ah, no, no, I... And how do you do? I don't need to talk, okay. No, he's unarmed. He's unarmed? No, he's unarmed. We can't fight him, we can't fight him. Uh, let's take a bit of a step away from the dock. And head on up here. Currently our health in the top left, you can see we're at 96 out of 100. If I hold down Alt, we can pan around and look around. Here's our main character. That's hence why I'm dressed like this. Uh, do excuse the, the lack of the, the pectoral crevice. Hmm, mm, indeed. Uh, you guys will have to deal with that. But <laughs> I think we look exactly alike. Now, this looks like a weaponsmith of some type. Uh, how do I find... The Dragon Tail. The Dragon Tail Inn. Now, perhaps I can ask someone? Is is this like Daggerfall, where you just ask random NPCs? Perhaps it's slightly further in. Uh, we should be able to recognize an inn when we see it. I see fish hanging here. By the way, this game does have some performance issues because it was basically designed for a uh, silversmith. It was designed for an engine and well? graphics that don't exist anymore. Let's talk to this man. Hello, my name is Cyrus. And mine is Trithic, lad. Trithic, uh, do you know Izara? I'm looking for my sister Izara. Perhaps you've seen her? I do not know the name, but so many have been lost since the dragon arrived. She went missing about three months ago. If she was with the crowns, I would count her among the casualties. Richton's slaughter was elegant only in its thoroughness. Oh, that's that's good writing. That's that's really good writing. Wow. And it's all voice acted. That's that's, a, that's such a good line. I just want to focus on that. Richton's slaughter was elegant only in its thoroughness. Ooh. All right. How about the League? The ship that brought me here was beset upon by some rascals called the Restless League. What do you know about them? They were the necessary cancer of a nation divided and at war, grown at the borders where the kingdom's skin is most contested by the foreign sword. Fearless men, whose names are all too often breathed in hate. Hmm. Don't believe them too wrong, for even the prince had their ear. This guy has the best writing. <laughs> A necessary cancer. On the skin of the Empire? Wow. wow. Stros Mackay. It seems quiet here, especially for a port city. How fair Stros Mackay under Imperial rule? Defeat is read in every native face, my boy. The war cost the city much, including its voice. The crowns are no more. As kingless as Yokuda, lost now to song which no one will sing, lest ricked in here. Overmuch, the governor is the reason Stros Mackay is so... Quiet. Yokuda. Now, according to the maps I've seen online, Yokuda is a island continent to the west? I have not heard mention of Yokuda since my childhood. The first land where the Red Guards came from in Blessed Hunding's day. Hunding? I saw the statue of Hunding on my way into port. I'm surprised Richton hasn't leveled it yet. He cannot or will not, for it keeps the goblins out of Stross Mackay, out and under it. Such is Randar Hunding's grace that he blinds them still. Goblins? There are goblins under Stross Mackay? And worse, but you didn't worry about them. They are doomed to the dirt and bother the Red Guard no more. All right. How about the Prince? Do you know where he is? What did the Imperials do to the Prince? 
A tor was slain at sea, and there his body was lost, thankfully. Already the uh, obligatory prophecy of his return has begun, spoken in hush, an ill surrogate for true hope this season. The Red Guard should know better. Be blind to desperate omen. The sad sun has left us. Wind swift and sadly, never to return. The obligatory prophecy of his return. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, uh, no, we shouldn't, we shouldn't turn to what blind omens. <laughs> oh, back when the Elder Scrolls was not about you are the chosen one. Oh, that, that's, it's so nice to hear that, oh no, the return chosen one prophecy, it's nonsense. We shouldn't rely on it. Because that's how Morrowind was still, right? There was a prophecy, the obligatory prophecy, as he said. <laughs> but it was, it was just all up in the air. It, there's no indication that it actually came true. <sighs> Ator? So Ator had dealings with the Restless League then. Never openly, for then even the Crown thought the League untrustworthy. Now they are Hammerfell's last hope. Ator's death sent them into hiding, and Dragonfire keeps them there. I'm not sure... Some of the voice acting does do some weird things. Body thankfully lost. How can you be thankful that Prince Ador's body was lost at sea? In so far that the seabed may claim him before the Necromancer does, that is all. That his soul may rest easy from the snare surround. Wait, no. There was... What did the Imperials do? I, I think... A tour was slain. I could skip. The Red Guard should know. I could ask about... How can you be... In so... Soul... Necromancer and Soul Snare. Tell me about the Necromancer. A westward evil. A seat in the Ash Grey Shoals. On parade now that the Empire's here, lad. So don't die. <laughs> so don't die. Don't die. Should I fear death more than normal then? The snare waits for those who don't. Mm. When it puts me back here. You know what? Let, we don't have to ask him about everything. How about the dragon? Tell me about that. This dragon, an imperial metaphor perhaps? Banner and bone, young life. Seek the old quarter if you want to see the handy work of both. Hmm. The war? I fear that my sister's disappearance had something to do with the civil war. I read more than fear in your face, Red Guard. Either retribution or redemption. Alas, sometimes they are the same. Neither can come without wounds. I said nothing about redemption or... Why else would you be here in this narrative? In you... How can the two be the same? In their concern for blood, in blood as closure, I assure you, it will be spilt before you find your sister. A prayer may do you well. This, this is the best, best character, best character. Where should I pray? At the Temple of Blessed Arche. Brother Niddle presides there, and he knew most of the people in town. He may know something about your sister. Where is the temple? In the town square, shoreside from the pool. All right. How about Richter, the person who led the uh, uh, the Septim army? Perhaps I should speak to this Richter then. Spoken true, good boy. But I'd advise against it. The Imperials suffer no red guards in the palace, unless you're forebear, and you walk on too few legs to be that. I walk on too few legs to be that? Tell me of the forebears. Throne defilers all, hosts to the invader, and hunting's shame. Right, and just tell me about the old quarter. What happened to the old quarter? It was the last stand of the loyalist crowns, and Governor Rickton had it destroyed. It smolders still all ash and dragon fire. Few escape the incident. All right, thank you. Thanks, Trin. I've got to go. By the way, there's two songs playing because there's this guy here. 
talk to the snake charmer. Hello? Hmm. He looks a little preoccupied. All right, that's fine. Um, let's let's try find the inn. Can I ask someone else? Hello, you. Talk One to moment. Me. Sorry, man. Imperials everywhere. I don't talk with strangers. Okay. How do I find the inn? I don't think I have a map yet. M is for map. I don't see a map. Okay. How about you? Do you know where the inn is? One moment. Sorry, man. Imperials everywhere. I don't talk with strangers. Okay, we can't just we can't just talk to strangers. Uh, this place looks like it was. This is just a hole in the wall. Okay. All right. That looks like something. So the the, the uh, what's that? Garrick's goods. I doubt the guards would talk to me, right? One moment. Go about your business, Red Guard. Okay, fine. Imperial guards won't talk to me. There's no quest compass. Guys, we actually have to look for our objective. <laughs> uh, that looks like that's not where the inn would be. The inn should be somewhere near here. That's the silversmith. All right. That's a dwelling. Is it back this way? I mean, maybe an inn is on the docks. Maybe I just missed it. What is even happening? We, uh, we've, our sister has gone missing. We're here to find her. There was a war. The Imperials conquered Hammerfell. Who are you? Talk to man. Oh, hoy there, sailor. Can I have a word with you? Greetings, stranger. What can I do for you, friend? Uh, the question is, what can I do for you? The young stranger in town, fearless, footloose, and fancy free, a little light of purse, perhaps? I have a proposition that may appeal, but first allow me to introduce myself. Kataro, contractor of Stross Mackay, at your service. Saris, charmed. This game is 30 years old. <laughs> what graphics do you think we had in 1989? <laughs> Uh, no, this is from 98. 98. Same year as StarCraft. Uh, just tell me, how about the Dragon Tail? I'm supposed to meet a friend at the Dragon Tail. Can you direct me? It's the only watering hole in town. Follow the ramps uphill to the town square. Bit of friendly advice? Watch your step. The forebears are a touchy lot these days. Okay. Ramps up into the town square. We'll talk later. But that's where we can get jobs, I think. So, I was heading the right way. Wait, ramps up. Is this a ramp? Yeah, this is a ramp. So this is a ramp up into the town square? I guess? So this is open door. So this is not... It's locked. It's locked. Okay. So it must be here somewhere. That's a general goods store. None of these buildings look like... It's locked locked okay none of these buildings look like an inn maybe it is further in is this not the town square maybe this is not the town square maybe it is over here oh there's a lot more town i didn't realize this place was so big oh this is the the pool that they mentioned uh that the old man, man mentioned there's another ramp here. There's some structure over there. That might be an inn? Dragon Tail. There we go. Established 284 CE. Remember to watch our step. Dragon Tail. dark in here. So, wait, who are we looking for? This is my inventory. Uh, the letter. I need to use this with something else. No, I want to read the letter. <laughs> oh, this is an adventure game. <laughs> uh, I hope this letter finds your hands, friend. Tobias. My latest travels have brought me to Stross. Okay, Tobias. <laughs> I need to use this with something else. He says it. As if 
he personally wants to use this hmm. item with something else. Okay, Tobias. Should probably be sitting alone. Talk to Tobias. Cyrus, you made it. Come here, lad. How oh, you look good. It's been too long. If you hadn't retired. <laughs> Mercenary likes younger men's work. Bah, he said. <laughs> I prayed that you would get my letter. All right, is that an Argonian behind the, the bar? He's just... Why is... He's so thick. That's a thick Argonian. <laughs> All right, do you know about my sister? It is lucky you were here, Tobias, or I wouldn't have known Azara was in trouble. I have not been in Hammerfell since the... Uh... I know, lad, what you mean. Anyway, Stros Mackay has no one who could have reached me. Thank you. I sent the letter some weeks ago, Cyrus. I fear things have gotten worse for your sister since. All right, uh, the letter. How did you know where to reach me, Tobias? Our paths parted so long ago. I didn't send it to you directly. I knew that damn cat was probably still getting you into trouble, even to this day. Srathra seemed the likely solution, and through the channels I'd heard, he'd made Weirest his port of late. Alright. Also, the music might be slightly too loud, so let me go ahead and just tone that down a little bit. Because the voices vary in volume. Nice, right back here. Saratha. So Saratha is the Khajiit, which we started with at the start. Now he's moved from the throne seekers of the old empire to the lesser lords of High Rock, still playing them to his benefit, breaking in the gold on all fronts. I thought that Septim had solidified the Britons. As much as the Witchmen will, but there is still a lot of money to be made in the drawing of borders before the provincial laws dry completely. Mercenaries are in great demand right now, as are fixers like our cat friend. Does he still stink so? To hear. I think I will go see him when I leave. It's been too long. Oh, this is such a great setting for a story. Like, you would think, oh, let's set a story. You'd set it during the war. But no, immediately after the war. Like, this is literally like three months after the Imperials won. Right? Immediately after the war, everything is so unstable and messy, it's more interesting than during the war. Right? Because everything's going. The pirates are getting bolder, the laws are all changing from provincial laws to imperial laws. You know, post-war stories are underappreciated. The vacuum can be horrifying, right? Like, everyone is just so uncertain, right? Immediately, like, it's it's not even like, this is a couple years after war, this is months after the war. It's so, it's so short. And everything is just up in the air, and it's actually really interesting. It, it allows so much politics and uh, subterfuge to take place. Imagine if they added that to the war in Skyrim, right? Skyrim was supposed to have, uh, Skyrim was supposed to take place during the war. Well, I mean, it does, but it's like... There's not much of a war. Apparently there was supposed to be a conquest mechanic, conquering strongholds and stuff, but they never put it in. But that they were trying to set it during the war, and this is so much more interesting than the political strife of Skyrim. You know, during the, the war anyway. Worse for your sister. How do you mean worse? What more do you know about Azara? Nothing more than my letter is described that she is gone and no one knows where. Just a bad feeling that's grown worse with the weight. The governor has not been merciful with the crowns that survived the battle. I hear his dragon's belly is full of the overloud, and that many died later in the burning of the old quarter. Right, the old quarter. What happened to the old quarter? The crowns fled ashore there after the battle. It was their last stand. The governor sent his dragon, and it was done. Was Azara there? 
That section of town is closed off. No one I've talked to knows if she was there or not. All right. What do you know of the dragon? Where's the dragon now? It's disappeared too. Some say it has returned to the Imperial province. Others say the governor keeps it well paid and fed in the catacombs below the palace. Hmm. You know, I didn't I didn't know dragons were really a part of any of the Elder Scrolls stories until Skyrim. Right? Because I know a lot of people were asking for dragons when Skyrim was in development. They were like, oh, you know, after Oblivion, let's let's bring dragons into the game. And I, I was like, oh, there's a dragon in Redguard. I had no idea. Is there another way into the catacombs? There is the traditional way. Imagine that I laughed. Secret entrance, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Imagine that I laughed. I... Uh. Who in this town knew of Azara? I did not question many for fear of ill allegiance. So I went to the temple to ask of her. For the brothers of R.K. are neutral in mortal affairs. There, Brother Niddle told me that Isara had vanished and set me on the road of writing you. Also, Drikius here knew that she was missing too. What can you tell me about Azara? She frequented this establishment much before the battle in Hunting Bay. Less after, of course. Of course? She was a fervent one, your nestling, who hated the Empire not in hushed tones. After the occupation, she disappeared for a while. She disappeared three months ago. No, I'm talking about before that, right after the battle. Many crowns had scattered in the wake then, hiding where they could. I didn't see her for several days following. But then she showed up, needing a drink and rambling, tense on some decision. What then? The Imperials came and I let her out through the back. I haven't seen her since. All right. Now, a lot of people are telling me to go to these brothers of RK and Brother Nido. So the priests are still safe from being conquered. Be that as it may, the temple is quite empty of priests, save for Brother Niddle. It seems some of their ranks have disappeared also. I'm noticing a theme. Where did you hear that? Niddle told me Brother Cathral vanished around the same time as your sister, and that they knew each other. All right, that's a lead. Filikov, thank you so much. Brother Niddle. So I can count Brother Niddle as an ally then? On my word, he was most helpful, but he seemed to be holding something back. I wouldn't consider paranoia a bad character trait in Stros Mackay these days. Besides, you're so ugly. That was it. He may open up to you more, being as hard as brother and half as hard to look at. <laughs> okay, the temple. Tell me about the temple. The head priest, a brother Niddle, was very helpful in regards to Azara. He seemed to know her well, and shared my concern over her disappearance. He is worth an interview. I think I saw it across the plaza. Okay, is there anything else I want to ask him about... about Stros Mackay? What brought you to Stros Mackay? War, and the rumors of war. Every merchant that's near and seaworthy has come to Stros Mackay in the wake of recent events. Either in the service of the provisional governor or to fill the sea lines that Septim has shattered and that the crowns can run no more. I thought I might profit from a visit, but it has brought naught but sorrow and the sign of darker days. I fear I shall be leaving none too soon. Leaving? You are leaving, Captain? When and wherefore? At sunset, if all goes well, and as for where, whither I will. Stros Mackay is not for me. But I thought you might help me. The Imperials have been asking about yours truly around the docks lately. I fear my inquiries into Izara's disappearance have interested them in all the wrong ways. 
I will help you as I can through the course of this day, but after that I must be done with it. I'm too old for an Imperial prison. It won't come to that. You haven't been here long enough. My ship is ready to leave at sundown, but don't worry. I'll be here until then to help you along if you need it. A lot can transpire in a day. We will see each other again. All right. Uh, let's let's continue with I'll our quest. I'll be back. If you're not here, thanks for everything. And good luck. Just find your sister and get out of here. And send word through Srathra. Go on. You'll do fine. What will it be, Traveler? Uh, you know, I actually recognize a lot of the voices here that are used in Morrowind, but I feel like we've already heard more dialogue than the entirety of dialogue voice acting in Morrowind, right? All of the all of the voice lines in Morrowind, I feel like we've already hmm. heard more. And the writing is good. The writing's actually good. Uh, all right, let's oh. exit the dragon tail. Uh, Christy Stratos, welcome. Never seen this game before. You as a writer, you might want to check it out. It's on GOG. The writing is actually really good. The dialogue. It's... I'm not sure whether it's the best writing in Elder Scrolls, but it's got some very well-written lines. And yes, this is more of an adventure than an RPG. There's been no character creation. Uh, you're given a character. I don't even know if we have... We, we don't have a character sheet. There's no stats. It's not an RPG. All right, now, uh, the temple. I assume it's there, but I want to go up here. So this is the center of the pool and the center of the town square. So the temple, I think, was across the pool. That might be it? Can I read that sign? Oh, walking backwards is really slow. Uh, no, this is the Mage's Guild. Oh, okay. There's Mage's Guilds. Where's the temp? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the temple. Well met, stranger. What? Ah, oh, my sciences. Oh, what? Let's talk to this person. <laughs> Stranger. Excuse me, miss. Can I have a word? Yes, my name's Mariah. What can I do for you? And what does life hold for you in Stros Not as much as it used to. Spend my day landscaping. <laughs> Before the Civil War, there were more of us. The town square and the park was so beautiful. But I do what I can. Tell me about your landscaping. I'm surprised Richton even allows such a practice to continue. Pity beautification may not be one of Lord Richton's concerns, but he still needs to put on the right air. Should his Emperor, Tiber Septum, ever check up on him? All leaders like their gardens full and the smell of success in the air. There's nothing wrong with what she's saying. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with what she's saying. Todd Howard, what, why? Why did you make this decision? Tell me about your park. Where's the park? Over by the waterfall. I'm ashamed you didn't notice. I have to spend more time on it. People really do enjoy it, especially that arcade boy, Githra. Okay, bye. Thanks, Mariah. I don't need to know about Kithra. Thanks, Mariah. That was an experience. Yeah, I was praising the voice acting. The voice acting is all over the place. There's been some amazing voice acting. And then we have Mariah. 
<laughs> and not- I don't think that's uh, a problem with the voice actor of Mariah, by the way. Uh, I think it was a direction decision, so I'm gonna blame Todd Howard. Uh, I can't- I need to use this with something else. No, uh, can I unequip the letter? Can I just re-equip the saber? Okay. No, don't take out the sword. That upsets people. I just want to read this sign. I don't know what it is. Uh, okay, what's this? Temple of RK. Let's continue our quest. She sounds like annoying, the annoying ghost in Harry Potter. Moaning Myrtle. Yes, Moaning Myrtle. Alright, is this the brother we're supposed to talk to? Talk to man. Hello, brother. I'm Cyrus, recent to this shore. Brother Niddle, good son. Welcome to the Temple of Arke. Healing, Izara. Let's get straight to it. My sister Izara has been missing for near three months. Perhaps you have heard of her? I knew her well, actually. But she never mentioned having a brother. She was a fiery sort, as I'm sure you know. And her Red Guard blood did not fare well under Imperial rule. She is not the only nationalist who has disappeared since the governor claimed the city. There have been others. Others? What others have disappeared? Brother Kithral, my initiate and good friend, for one. He was an outspoken man and a crown sympathizer. He was enamored of your sister, I must say, and took to her crown propaganda readily. Tell me about R.K. Are you a follower of R.K., Cyrus? Me? No. Well, not in the worshipper sense. In what sense, then? I'm not that wayward, brother. I do believe in the gods and in their, you know, um, importance to man and, you know, all that. And R.K.'s importance would be... I'm usually the one who asks all the questions, Brother Niddle. Humor an old man. R.K., then. The shepherd of the soul who watches us through our lives and our deaths and guides us between them and the heavenly, uh, enter. May he watch over you. <laughs> all right. Um, tell me about this brother, Kithral. When did you last see Kithral? I sent him to the park for fresh mandrake root, and that is probably where Richton's men were waiting. Kithral was against the Imperial expansion from the start, though I reminded him that R.K. frowns on more secular interests. This warning Kithral obviously did not take to heart. And about the Nationalists? Do you know anyone that Azara may have kept company with, a uh, vanished nationalist or otherwise? Like I said, I knew her well, and she spoke often to Brother Kithral, my former initiate, but he, too, has disappeared. She was a devout Archaean, Isara. I once almost convinced her to join the temple, but that was before she, well, before she what? Before she what, Brother Niddle? Well, man, before she vanished. I trust that you will seek me out if you hear anything more of my sister. I will be honest, Cyrus. She is either dead or worse. For I know she would not have left Stros Mackay even after Ator's defeat. Richton had a list of rebels when he took the throne, and Isara's name was undoubtedly upon it. All right. Uh, maybe the governor might be handy to know about. What can you tell me about the governor? That he is a hard man. Richton threatened to raise the temple when I refused to hand over the wounded of Prince Ator, who had survived the battle. I assured him that even his emperor could not defy divine law. Nevertheless, the wounded under my care were healed only to be thrown into the catacombs thereafter. All right. So our sister is probably in the catacombs. So Tor's men are in the catacombs then? Either that, or they are fruit for the necromancer. It is somehow appropriate 
that Richton deals with that nefarious slug. Fruit for the necromancer. See, this is this is when the writing is just like, yes, that's such a good way to put it. There's a lot of use of metaphors in the writing here, and it, it's clever. It's clever. Fruit for the necromancer. What about this necromancer? Nagasta has been here long, manifest in Tassad's good rule. Ator had kept his wretchedness at bay, but now, with the prince gone, he has cursed the land. How has Nagasta cursed the land? The very soil of Strasmakai is cursed. Nagasta has become very powerful and has weaved a soul snare across the island. Any who die must quickly have their last rites performed before their souls become his to claim. Right, so die anywhere and we become an undead being. How about healing? Can you heal me, Brother Niddle? Please forgive the formalities. But the governor has levied a temple tax of 25 gold for any magical services rendered, healing or otherwise. Will you pay the tax? Uh, no. Forget it. I am truly sorry, but I cannot help you then. All right. Uh, let us say bye. Until later, Brother Niddle. Goodbye, my son. I love how he puts the hood back up. Okay, so, our basic leads are the Catacombs and the Governor. That's probably where everything is right now. I'm not sure if we're equipped to go into the Catacombs, though. I feel like I should be doing some questing or something. But let's, let's pop back to our friend at the inn and then see if he has anything to say. Actually, no, he already told us everything he can about the governor and stuff. So let me actually do some exploring and adventuring. Uh, I have not been up this way. This leads to... I think this leads to out. No, what is this? Is this the palace? Oh, this is the palace. So this is where the prince is. Uh, let's try approach the palace, uh, but first I will save the game. The new save game. Palace. Let's see if we can enter, or do we just get killed? What do you want? See Richton? I need to speak with Governor Richton. What business do you have with him? Well, I don't have gift or information, but... I need to ask him a few questions. Not good enough. Now move along. <laughs> uh, how... Do I have any information? I don't have anything. I, I need to try, speak I guess. with Governor Richton. What business do you have with him? Offer information. I have some information he may find useful. You're not talking your way past me. Now move along. All right. <laughs> all right. Bye. That's all for now. But I'll be back. Sure. <laughs> Alright. So, we need to see Richton or find a secret entrance into the catacombs. Uh, perhaps we should explore the island somewhat. Uh, when I was testing, I did wander out into the wilderness. And there's some stuff out there that we could check out. Uh, where, did, where did we come from? Uh, it's here, right? Yeah, here. Let's head down this way. I'm not entirely sure where the old quarter is. If we wanted to see the old quarter that was burned down. I don't know what this is either. I could check out this general goods store. Garrick's Goods. Oh, that door sound is reused in Morrowind. Did you hear that? Oh, where am I? Why is this goods store so dark? Good day. Hello. Talk to Elf. Hello, shopkeeper. My name is Cyrus. 
pleased to meet you, my good fellow. Garak, your humble servant. Uh, do you know Izara? I wonder if you know my sister Izara. Izara? Is Zara. A lovely name, by the way. I believe she may have been mixed up with those League Pirates. Am I right? League Pirates? Was she mixed up in the League Pirates? What do you know about the Restless League? A collection of the worst scum from the sewers of Stros Makai. Pirates who'd cut your throat as soon as look at you. I know your sister's name. What did he say? Ignore Orsene. Good Cyrus. He's a halfwit. What were we talking about? The League. League Pirates? That's what I'm trying to find out. She's been missing for three months. What do you know about them? That bloodthirsty gang of villains. If your poor sister... ...was connected with them, I'm afraid to speculate on what might have happened. Poor pretty! They've been a plague on Stros Makai for years, although the cowards haven't dared show their faces since the Imperials arrived. Plate Pate Garrick knows more! Knows more! <laughs> knows more, huh? Please, if you know anything more about Azara. Well, she came into my shop some time ago, looking for Malachite. Don't stock it, of course. Unusual request. But she was very insistent. Squawk! Sister, plenty money. Right, face. Izara offered me a tidy sum for the Malachite, much more than it was worth. I said I could have some for her in three weeks, but she needed it right away. I'm afraid she may have tried the smuggler's den, dear me. Not a place to walk into with a purse full of gold. Ah, all right. So she might have been captured or is a part of the League Pirates? Smuggler's Den? Yes, under the cartographer's shop. An open secret around town. I'm sure those smugglers are connected with the Restless League. Selling Valenwood wine stolen from my own ships at double the price since they have no competition. Hmm. I can't prove any of it, of course. I'm a pretty bird. All right. Uh, under the cartographer's shop, there's a smuggler's den. Buy I'd items. like to make a purchase. Do I have any money? Splendid. What do you need? I think I have some. Shovel. Oh, this is this is a this is an adventure game, right? How much is a compass? Compass, torch, aloe, shovel. They all sound very important. Compass? That looks like a decent compass. The one item no one should be without. Never lose your way again. For the small investment of 50 gold, peace of mind for a lifetime. 50 gold. How much money do I have? I'll have to think about it. I'm sure you'll change your mind. Okay. Uh, back. And Malachite? Oh, we should ask about that. Did Azara say why she needed Malachite? I'm sorry, no. Not much call for it anymore, now that the alchemist shop is closed. Brah! Old Brahmish Crossfinger! Brah! Alchemist? Malachite is used in alchemy. I believe so. Old Vromish? Brah! The alchemist used to order a pound or two from time to time. But he's been dead now these seven years. And the Mages Guild gets their potions wholesale, so I haven't carried Malachite since. The Mages Guild sells potions? Yes. They now have an official monopoly on magic of any kind. Archmage Vo is doing. Took advantage of his access to the Prince at the expense of us small businessmen. Remains to be seen what the new Imperial policy will be. Governor Richton's too busy with his archaeological hobby to bother with a small matter like economic policy. Isn't that actually an imperial thing the mages guild and fighters guild they're imperial things right the imperial institutions that's why when you go to skyrim it's not quite the mages guild and fighters guild because skyrim doesn't have a proper hold on the region but in morrowind the imperial imperials do have a proper hold that's why there's mages guilds and stuff everywhere or at least they're preferred by imperial rule Hmm. Archaeology. The governor is an archaeology buff? He's crazy over anything dwarven. The dwarven ruins are full of soldiers looking for who knows what. Richton better hope the emperor never finds out how he's wasting his valuable troops. 
Right, so the, the Mage's Guild is, was established before the Empire expanded. So I think it is part of the Empire's culture sort of thing, right? Originally, the Mage's Guild was established by Galerion, a mage, right? And are there Dwarven ruins on this island? Where are these Dwarven ruins? Down on the south end of the island. You won't get in, though. Richton's men have sealed the gates. All right, let me check how much money I've got. Thanks for the time, Garrick. Okay, inventory. I have 53 gold. I'm gonna buy a compass. Because I'm gonna go explore. Garrick, how are you? Splendid, Cyrus. Splendid! Uh, buy items. I'd like to make a purchase. Splendid. What do you need? I want the compass. That looks like a decent compass. The one item no- Yes. <laughs> Yep. Buy it. I'll take it. A pleasure doing business with you, Cyrus. Okay, bye. Thanks for the time, Garrick. Okay, so compass. If I select it, it's down there. Does it actually work? I don't know. Huh? Oh, I've used it. So now I can go back to Saber. I can't believe the, the door sound is exactly the same door sound as Morrowind. Or rather, Morrowind is the same as here. So I bought a compass. Does it just stay hmm. there? Yes, it's behind me, by the way. Uh, Alright. I don't know if there's a day-night cycle. Is there a day-night cycle? The sun is there. It is very yellow. Uh, let us... I saw a way out of the town from here. Oh! You can just... Oh, that's a nice touch. You just slide down <laughs> the hill. Great. Uh, I assume the red dot on the compass is north? Cyrus! Saw... Nope, I'm not talking to you. So we're on the south end? Hey, Sarah. Uh, let me just make a save right here. Exploring. Let's wander out into the wilderness and see what's out there. It's a big island, I think. So there's guards along the roads. All right. I should probably stick to the roads, right? Um, so they mentioned to the west is the necromancer. Uh, where, where was the dwarven? Where was the dwarven ruins? I can't remember. Was it north? Ah, uh, this looks like a 1998 3D game. It looks kind of like Trespasser, right? Looks kind of like Trespasser. There's a lot of guards on the roads, though. I guess nothing, nothing happens on the roads. But I guess increased military presence makes sense, right? I'm just gonna walk until we find a thing. Oh, there's a sign. So, Stros Mackay is the town. And that is Isle of Nagasta, I think. So, this road does lead to something. Early 3D is disgusting. <laughs> you know, I think it's got a charm to it. Oh, there's a guy on the beach there. We found a thing. Is he hostile or not? He's not a guard. Hello? Well, well, what are we doing out so far from town? The prey and his paws are soon parted, my friend. Oh, so sorry, but I need your uh. beautiful shot, my dad used why is, to say. Why is he so suggestive? What? That hurt, Lampkin. Why does he talk like that? Also soon, just a few more. Oh, so sorry. Mm, you can just a few more, lad, and it'll all be over. Oh, so sorry, but I need your coin, so you must die. 
Oh, so sorry. Ah, oh, so sorry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the voice acting goes from such good voice acting into you're wondering what is this choice? What is this direction? <laughs> he called me Lambkin. <laughs> I am slain. Ooh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Why? Why does he talk like that? Like, we're talking to a guy and he's like, Yeah, it's good to see you. It's been a long time since we've met. Let me help you with your journey. And then we, we meet that woman. Hi! I like gardening! <laughs> then we talk to, to the brother. Yes, I do know your sister. It's, uh, it's unfortunate what happened to her. She's probably in the catacombs, or worse. Hello, lambkin. I need your money. <laughs> Search the body. A map of Stros Mackay. A map of Stros Mackay. An important item is on this random dude. Can I look at the map? It shows us where we are. Oh, we have a we have a compass and a map. Okay, so we've we walked north. This island is pretty big. So it's all beached there. There's a bridge over to the bunch of islands. The Isle of Nagasta is over that side. Ogre's Tooth Mountains. Um Oh, that's why I was confused. The dwarven ruins are over that side. I remember remember I think it was south, he said, but I was like, we're already on the south coast, but no, the island curves round. And then the Saint's Port there. So the Necromancer is probably west in the mountains. The Spine is out in the ocean. Okay. Is this the... what? It, it's not the Bessian Sea, right? What, what's the full name? It's actually cropped off. I don't think I can look around. No. How do I... Alt? No? I don't think I can pan around this map. It, it just crops off. Abyssinian Ocean. Right. Okay, so this... this... Hunting Bay is there. The whole town's pretty huge, but I think I explored most of it? I didn't head to the north... eastern part of the town. I see. Devil's Den is just to the southwest of here. I should probably check it out. But also, I should probably... I have three gold coins. Use these health potions. How much does it heal? Not a lot. Let's drink another one. Hmm. I'll drink another one. Let, let's be safe. Okay. Get back on our sword. And also, I should save right here. That's very important. Map. We got a map and a compass. Okay, so there was a devil's den over here. Since we don't have any stats or anything, that means there's no level cap or level requirements to go do things. So if I head... Let's, let's continue down the road a little bit. We can always check the map. We're at the coast. So this is the, the bridge. So just left of here should be Devil's Den. But let's let's check this out first. This is supposed to allow us to get to the aisle? Oh, there is a jump. Oh, come on. Okay. Ugh. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, we can swim. We can swim. <laughs> Anyone who played Red Guard back in the day, that 100% happened to everyone. The bridge is, just has holes in it. Okay. We can do this, I think. Oh, we can jump pretty far. I know how this works. Oh! Ah. 
There's sharks. There are sharks. Uh... They're not sharks. That's that's not a shark's tail. Maybe maybe we can't make that quite yet. Let, let's have a look at the Devil's Den then. Well, then again, my maybe it's just my parkour skills. So heading southwest should be into this wilderness bit here. I don't know what the Devil's Den is. Ooh, there's people down there. Hostile, perhaps? Hey, bro, oh, let's see what we got we here. Got that sort of bring a pretty cool one, huh, Nettie, my boy? Okay, okay. Oh, he cut me! Oh, oh, let me take him! Oh, that hurts! Oh, oh, let me take him! Alright, back away. Got him. Oh. Let that sword to bring a pretty- Hey, you done spoiled my shark. He's sorry. Uh, uh. <laughs> alright, alright. Taking a bit of damage. Let that sword to bring a pretty cool. Ned may need some dogs. If you push some forward meat. and stab. Uh, uh. Hey, you done spoiled my shark. Uh. Got him. Oh. We killed two. Search the body. Five gold pieces. <laughs> Five gold pieces. How about this one? Excellent. He just said excellent. What is excellent? Oh, it was a lot more than five gold pieces. We have 33 gold. These guys think they're in Monkey Island. <laughs> it it uh, does have Monkey Island vibes. Anyway, where are we on the map? Um, island map. Oh, so this was the Devil's Den, I guess? Those two guys? Well, I think that's enough exploring, but I'm going to try jump across this bridge one more time. Let's see if we can make it. I didn't realize there would be such parkour in this game. All right, let's see if we can make it across. I will make a save. Jumping. Okay, let's let's try do it. So I, I should take my time. Okay. okay. So when planks start falling, that's when I jump. No! You, you can't jump just a little bit! Okay. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Hold on. So you can't jump just a little bit. So it sort of implies that you should not stop. It sort of implies that. Can you even make that jump? <coughs> the era of trial and error. You gotta love it. Was there an item I could buy that would help me with this? Come on, shark, eat me. Duh. Okay, I'll try. I'll try one more time. Ooh. Okay. Oh, come on. close. Take your time. Okay. Oh. You, you have to jump right at that last bit. 
Come on, shark. All right. Last try. Last try. Then I'll head back to town. This has got to be a last second jump. Take a step back. Everything's so shaky, it's hard to judge. Okay, we did it. <laughs> I just realized, how are we going to get back? How do I even climb? Is there a climb button? Oh, you can just step up. Okay. Oh! Jump and grab? This game has jump and grab? How complex is this game? Wait, are there controls that I'm missing? Hold on. Uh, options. Controls. Forward, back, left, right, use, view, jump, walk, items, map, log, sword, health, next, preview. Okay, no, it's not a button or anything. It just auto... auto grabs. Jump and grab. <laughs> Parkour. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm gonna make a save. We've actually made it quite far. Uh, I think we're halfway. Made a save, so... Oh, oh, okay, okay. Jump and grab. Where does this even lead to? It's so much further than I thought. How... Where are we on the map? This just goes... Does this actually lead to the Isle of Nagasta? Or is this just down the spine? I feel like I'm not supposed to be coming this way. I'm getting good at the jumping. Though. Get up. Come on, stand up. Oh. These are the hardest ones to deal with. Okay. An actual solid bridge, nice. We made it to something. We found a scary boat. Am I supposed to use the boat? There's no one here. He doesn't look like the talking type. Perhaps I should offer him a fare. Mon nope, not Saber. Money. This is not what I was expecting at all. Is this a zombie island? 
<laughs> I am so not supposed to be here. I think I'm gonna have to reload, but let's look. Let's look. The game just crashed. The game straight up crashed. We are not supposed to be there. We'll be right back. Let's see what's on the island. This boat does not look like it would stay afloat, but apparently it's alive anyway. Oh, it is a horrifying zombie island, isn't it? Alright, we are 100% dead, but we're gonna go sightseeing. We're gonna go sightseeing. I've never seen this before, I wanna explore. <laughs> I hate that thing. It costs three gold to cross? Okay, so we could actually sail back, but I think if anything... Can I attack it? No. All right, let's let's check out this horrifying island. I can't I can't stand the noise. So this is where the necromancer is. I thought he was in the mountains. No, the entire island is necromancer island. And remember, if we die, we we become a zombie. Take out the sword. Okay, they're not strong. Five gold pieces. Five gold pieces. Yeah, I don't want to be here. What was that noise? How? How does every Elder Scrolls game give me a jump scare? <laughs> How? Every time. Excellent. Why? 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 Why does it play that? I'm going back to the boat. I'm not sure if I got lots of gold. If I got lots of gold, it'll be worth it. We're done with Zombie Island. We got lots of gold. Okay, we can probably afford something else from the shop. Uh, just in case the game crashes, I will save here. No. Let's let's go back. Let's go back. I killed two skeletons, and that's enough undead for the day. <laughs> We're not supposed to be here. It's okay. Oh. We've actually done quite a bit with our one health. Yeah, one hit point. We are not fighting anyone. Oh, the sun's out. But already, there's there's quite a lot of story and lore being explained to us here, right? It's 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 nice. Like, I'm as immersed in this world as I am with Morrowind, generally. But maybe even more so, because of all the dialogue and all the story and all the explanations and everything. Okay, so I have 57 gold. Uh, does this bridge have a hole in it? Do you think, do you think, how mean do you think this game is? Do you think the planks fall if you walk from the other direction? <laughs> Let's make a make a parkour save. Just so we we don't Don't have to do too much. Okay. Hopefully no more planks fall and we can just run back. Jump over the holes. Because we can see them coming. Easy. Nice. 
Nice. Yes. Ah. Oh. Very nice. I think I've gotten kind of okay at this. Look at that. And back onto solid ground. Let's go back to town. And hope nothing attacks us because we'll be immediately dead. I'm not sure if it's worth paying for healing. He said it was 25 gold. I guess we... If we just use the money we got. Like, if we just use the money we got, we would actually... Just heal back up. I'm not sure if that's worth it or we should buy something like a shovel or a torch. Let's get back to Stros Mackay. Interestingly, we haven't fought any animals or creatures, which is... Did we fight any? Yeah, we fought, we fought more creatures in Daggerfall. We fought bears and stuff like that. But here we've only fought humanoids. Even that feels very different. With one HP, investing in a shovel might be the right play. Yeah. Could always do with a shovel. Alright, back to town. Back to town. Now, we were supposed to check out... What an odd looking ship. Uh, we're supposed to check out... Uh, the smuggler's den underneath the cartographer's Hi there. place. Smuggler's den underneath the cartographer's. Uh, I assume it would be in the town square as well. Or maybe it's in that part of the town which we didn't see. Because I didn't see any cartographer here. What chamber was that? Oh, that's a snake charmer. Right, we can't talk to him. Is this just a dwelling? Bell Town. I should save you. Back in town. Check out the Bell Tower. There's someone. Hello? No, don't. Just want to talk to him. Talk to man. Come on. Pull bell rope? Pull the rope! Don't touch that bell rope! Unless you want to be remembered as the cowardly villain who murdered a kind and dutiful old man just so he could play the fool with that good man's bell! Alright, let's not touch the bell. Uh, let's talk to the man. Can I... Gotta angle it just right. Talk to man. <laughs> Greetings, old man. I am Cyrus. Cyrus, eh? Never heard of you. Must be new around here. My name's Fattis. Everybody just calls me Fattis, though. Do you know my sister? My sister Izara is missing. Do you know her? Sure, a nice young lady, too. Sister, you say? I haven't seen her around in a while, though. Wonder if she might be missing. Apparently, no one has seen her for months. Do you have any idea what might have happened? Might have something to do with the rest of this league. Some of them fellows came around looking for her a while back. Hmm, okay. Izara was in trouble with the Restless League? I didn't say that. Although, come to think of it, they didn't look too friendly. No one you'd want to cross, that's for sure. The enemies have a way of turning up 
dead! Also, but importantly, Izara was an uh, anti-imperial. And those pirates are anti-imperial. They've grown bolder recently. I'm going to guess Izara is probably their leader. Or something like that. I'm gonna guess. Right? They've grown bolder, which means they're not just pirates anymore. They're actually fighting for a cause. They're not just looting and pillaging. So the Restless League are against the Imperials. We know that. We know that. So why would they get bolder if they were just pirates? Why would they start annoying the Imperials even more? Right? My ship was attacked by two members of the Restless League just off Stros Mackay. What can you tell me about them? Not much! Fire-eating Red Guard nationalists? More even than most crowns could stomach. But they've kept quiet since the old quarter was burned. I wonder why they decided to attack your ship. Right? Right? Ah. Oh. Santa Craft. Thank you so much. I feel the true Red God spirit in my attire. Want to... Makes me want to build a Red God city. Right? I tried my best. I tried my best. Red God pirate. Hmm. Uh, League attack mission. Yeah. I don't know. How long has it been since their last attack? Hmm. Must have been a month or two at least. Their oh. last big success was blowing up Rickman's flagship right here in the harbor. A pity in a way. Whatever else you say about the Imperials, they make beautiful ships. With that little caper cost the League plenty. Afterwards, Rickton rounded up anyone who'd ever spoken to a Leaguesman. I was starting to think he had crushed them completely. Right. You're not in the Restless League? Me? Ha! If I was, do you think I'd still be here with precious Governor Rickton throwing every known leaguesman in the catacombs? In my day, things were simple. A Red Guard was loyal to the king, and that was that. All this newfangled politics, crowns and forebears, Restless League, not for me. Alright, what about the bell, though? What, what does the bell, though, do? Why can't I ring it? You're in charge of this bell tower? Don't want to be, but I'm stuck with it. Dan Purnell's fault leaves me stuck here while he sits up in the cool breeze and watches Hunden Bay roll by. Does he think I'd like to wave the flag once in a while? Stubborn as a mule he is, and ungrateful to boot. Purnell, a friend of yours? Friend? Ha! <laughs> Blind as a bat he is, but will he ever let me wave the flag? No! Too stuffy down there, he says. You fall off the chair, he says. Always some excuse. Now he's gone and broken the bell. Don't know why I put up with it. Broken bell? The bell doesn't look broken. Well, not broken exactly, but I'm sure it doesn't ring as loud as it used to. But Purnell wouldn't let me have La Keen look at it, would he? Insisted on doing it himself. Typical. Took him half the day, then had the nerve to tell me there's nothing wrong with it. Lakeen? I'm not sure if I've met Lakeen. Me neither. Now that Lakeen, on the other hand, handiest young fellow I ever met, can fix anything. Hey, you look like a handy sort yourself. Maybe you could take a look at it for me. A quest. Yes. Sure, I'd be happy to. Good lad. How do I look at the bell? Is there a way up? Exit bell time? From this side, maybe? Did this guy get teleported in from GTA? <laughs> Throat ruining acting. His lines were written well, though. Um, how do I check the bell? Like, I assume... How do I go up to check the bell? It must be from inside, right? There's two doors that are just here. I mean, the room's dark, so it's actually hard to see. Is there a way up? Like... I don't think I can... Nope. Hey there, 
there, young fella! How do I get to the bell? Climb the rope? I would have thought so, but... Don't touch that bell rope! Okay, unless you want to be remembered as the cowardly villain who murdered a kind and dutiful old All man right. just so he could play the fool with that no, good no. man's bell! Okay, no, okay. How do I get... Favis, can you tell me how to get up there? Thought you said you were gonna fix my bell! Look, hmm? How, how hmm? do I get up there? He won't even talk to me anymore. I can't climb this rope. I can't seem to interact with it. Huh. Well, I guess it's something we'll have to come back to. We gotta find the cartographer's place. So the al the alchemist, can you jump indoors? Oh, I could, I could jump. Maybe if I jump onto the rope, he'll grab on. Cause we know there's a jump and grab mechanic, right? <laughs> What's this? What's this? Oh. There's a swinging mechanic? There's something there, but I don't know how to... Hmm, nothing wrong with this bell. Just the old man's ears that need fixing. Swing your legs. If I... What's this? Let's go find... Let's, let's go find the cartographer. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I haven't been to the northeast, but let's just check the buildings through the town square here. We know that's a temple. That's just a random locked door. There's our favorite character. Walk by her. Good character. Everyone's favorite character. That's the Mage's Guild. This looks like the cartographers. Okay. Main quest. Hello, man. Yes? Good day. I'm Cyrus. Aren't too many youngsters around these days, especially not as well-spoken as you. I'm Maiko, the local cartographer. Can I help you? Uh, I want to know about the smugglers then. Oh, I can buy maps? What maps do you have? Do you have any maps for sale? Sorry, I don't sell retail. Contract work only. But perhaps I can make a map for you? Oh, I can ask him to make a map of Stress Mackay. There's two ways to get a map of Stress Mackay. That's nice. I've heard tell that your basement is used as a smuggler's den. Really? How about that? I rent the downstairs to some local lads. They're quiet and always pay up on time. I can't imagine they're up to anything illegal. Local lads. These local lads, do they have names? They never said. Perhaps you should run downstairs and ask him yourself. Run downstairs. We'll talk later. Uh, where is downstairs? Is it from in here? Well... The lighting in this game is very dark. Uh, maybe it's around the back. Is this it? Yes. With our one hit point, let's walk into the smuggler's den. Knock on door. Oh, they won't just let us in, of course. What's a password? Open up. Sorry, mate, I can't help you. We need a password? All right, we're gonna have to figure out the password. What other leads do we have? Um. 
What other leads do we have? I'm sure there was some stuff we could... Hello there! Check out. Oh, is this the part which is... We didn't explore, but it seems to be off limits. Oh, is this the old quarter? I don't know. Yes, this is the old quarter. That was burned down by the dragon, I have to assume. Right, this this is it. So, on the map... Right, all that up there is the old quarter that was burned. Okay. I also have to assume that there might be an entrance to the catacombs from there. Alright, uh, so what else can we do? We can't get into the palace unless we have some reason to see... Was that Fargoth's voice? Was it? It's this guy, right? Red God! No, I don't think it's... Hi, so I, I don't think so. You are? Lock key. You're a no here, aren't you? No, no, no. Uh... Izara? You know anything about a woman named Izara? Izara! Name sounds familiar, but I can't say that I do. Uh, Smuggler's Den. What do you know about the Smuggler's Den? I've never been there. <laughs> Stress Mackay? And what does Stross Mackay hold for you? I'm what everyone likes to refer to as Mr. Fix-It. I'm cursed by it, actually. Oh, and by the way, if you see a man named Trithic, tell him I'll get to his boat when I have time. If I see the fellow, I'll tell him. And as for what keeps me in Stross Mackay with the Empire and Rickton and all, well, I've lived here a long time, got friends and roots here. And Stross Mackay has deep roots, ancient history. Eh, there's the real mystery. Trithic's boat. We know Trithic, he's the old man. What's wrong with Trithic's boat? Not sure, really. I think he's had some vandals at night. All right. We'll talk later. So he's the fix-it guy the bell tower guy was talking about. It's locked. It's locked. No problem. Uh, that's random door. Okay, so I think I've explored everywhere I can, right? I can turn the well? Does this do anything? I got some water. Can I take? I need something to put it in. <laughs> right. I don't have anything to contain water. I don't know why we would get water though. It's fine. Uh, maybe I should head back to my friend. It seems like a day lasts forever in this game, so... Let's see if this guy has any advice on where we could go. We've, we've wandered around and done some stuff. To bite. Say, laddie! Cyrus, what have you heard? I need to ask you about something. Okay, so... What brought you to stress No, not me? this. Uh, War! Either nope. in the... I thought nope. I'm... Uh, back... The League. What is the Restless League, Captain? Where did you hear that name? They attacked the ship that gave me passage. Speak of it but in a whisper, and not too often. The Governor is searching the surrounding waters for them, and will see them broken and piked if he has his way. The League has survived the death of the Crown Prince and resists his enemies still. But they are few, and going fewer from what I hear and have been reduced to brigandry these days. Not far from the lives we led not too long ago, eh? The lives we led. We were never brigands when I served under you, Captain. Only mercenaries. Tell that to those on the other end of the sword, lad. You see more of yourself and the men of the Restless League than you'd care to admit, I'd wager. They're knaves with their eyes on Providence, nothing more. 
My sword's never been dressed for diplomacy. Give me gold for a throat, the throat for a slight, and I'm well. Give me a well-paying war. War is the continuation of politics. Arm, that's it, right? You quote hunting like a red guard, Tobias. Political power grows along the blade of a sword. Okay, okay. <laughs> a drink to the red guard. Uh, brigandry. Bold are these brigands, the Restless League, to attack a ship in the very harbor. They must be running low on provisions to act so desperately. They have been ghosts of late, and this appearance is their first since I've been here. How do you know about them, then? They ran the Iliac before the war. Our lanes have crossed. But after the occupation, they've stayed relatively scarce? Yes, which is why their attack on you is so troubling. No one knew of your impending arrival? Nobody but Seraphra. Would it matter? I'm not sure. Hmm. Hunting. I see you still remember your childhood heroes, even if you've dismissed the homeland. Hunting is a universal wellspring. Be resolute, fear no sacrifice, and surmount every difficulty to win victory. See? Anyone could admire that. Tell me that your red guard, Hart, didn't buckle when you saw his statue at port. Frandar Hunding is a great hero to Hammerfeld, I'll admit, and even a little to myself. Hail the great founder and all that nonsense. But it's an ill plan to try and trigger the homeland tug through the invocation of Hunding, Tobias. Really? Don't forget, he left his homeland too, and never looked back. That's because it fell into the sea, you dolt. What? What happened? I'm gonna have to check out that, that tale. Anyway, Smuggler's dead. Don't suppose you know the password. Captain, what do you know about the Smuggler's Den? Knaves that aren't worth my cargo. You should forget about them. I see. Your Kuda got nuked and sunk? Oh. Alright. I'll be back. If you're not here... Thanks for everything. Good luck. Just find your sister and get out of here. And send word through Srathra. Go on. You'll do fine. What will it be, Traveler? Oh, it's thick Argonian. Thick Argonian Barkeep. That needs to be another book in the next Elder Scrolls. Right next to the lusty Argonian maid, there's the thick Argonian Barkeep. It's this guy. What's his name again? He's fast. What will it be, Traveler? <laughs> Barkeep well met. I'm Cyrus. I know. I had Tobias made out of fool to believe you'd come. What? I'm the one that smuggled his letter out for him. The Empire's been watching all shipments from this port. I figured our chances were slim. Many thanks, then. Drikius. Many thanks, then, Drikius. Okay. Uh... I should have probably talked to this guy sooner. Tell me about your tavern. Welcome to the Dragon Tail. By the way, thesis bound subsistence of mine, where there is good ear and ale co-equal. What can I do for you? A drink might be nice. I'll use your ears later, maybe. <laughs> Ever ready to listen, soft skin? Let adventure thine be mine. I'll share what thoughts I can. It's such good dialogue. I love it so much. Ear and ale. <laughs> what do you know about Izara? What can you tell me about Izara? The Imperials came and I let her out through the window. I haven't seen her since. There's so much to talk about. Uh, let's go back. Let's ask about the Restless League. 
What do you think of the Restless League? A human tribe of ill account, but whose single-mindedness is something I can fathom. Their raids upset my smuggling operations, and off thus my fair nature. Valenwood wine's hard to come by, you see, but over that, I have nothing worse to say. Something you can fathom. So this guy's a smuggler. He should know the password. You sympathize with the League, then? Oh, no. I merely noted their clannish drives, which any Argonian might admire. Being used, as we are, to honor the clan's interests about our own private affairs. How then does an Argonian manage to leave his tribe to wander Tamriel? You refer to me? I do not wander, Redguard. This is a settled study for me, from which I'll add to the wealth of wisdoms when I return to my clan. Oh. And also, yeah, he called it soft skin. But they say, they say smooth skin in later games, right? Hmm. But then again, I don't know if there's any... I mean, the eras are different. This is this is during um, Tiber Septim's reign. Later games are during Uriel Septim's reign. They say smooth skin in Fallout as well, yes. Soft skin. Not in Elder Scrolls. Do they ever... What did... Do, what do they call us... What did the Argonians call us in later games? Hmm. Raids. I myself was a victim of these raids. More obstacle, I'd suspect, than victim. The raids had ended, it seemed, but your mischance may be token of renewed troubles the sailors speak of. Hmm? The League is marshalling anew its forces, or so the rumor goes. Some second battle of Stros Mackay? True, it sounds unlikely, but they are dagger lads, the Restless League, and they vow to make war again. Oh, uh, I, I, I have to, I'm gonna point this out every time there's a line that I think everyone should appreciate. I too was a victim of these raids, more obstacle than victim. It's true, we weren't the target, as far as we know. Well, at least even if we were the target, we were not, you know, intended to be killed. Those two said, stand down, get below deck, they wanted the cargo. More obstacle than victim. And they're dagger lads. Dagger lads, wow. Tell me about Argonians, I want to hear more. How have the denizens of Black Marsh resisted the Empire so long? A thousand miles of swamp? Bog and stink aren't attractive to most humans, and terror of the Kanatan flu still holds most at bay, but our days of testing will come. I want a Black Marsh game. I want a Black Marsh game. Because uh, if I recall correctly, during the Oblivion Crisis, uh, the, the Argonians were so strong and defensive that essentially when the Oblivion gates opened, the Argonians invaded Oblivion. <laughs> like, you don't mess with them. I would be down to explore Black Marsh. Right? That That is... It would be so cool exploring that culture. They're so different. I think it would be kind of a return to Morrowind-esque where... Like, We've been playing these older Elder Scrolls games pre-Morrowind, and it's been like Daggerfall and Redguard, and they're set on this western coast of Tamriel, and it's all very human, right? It's like Imperials and pirates and stuff like that. Then they went to Morrowind, and it was this alien world, and it's like, it's so good. That's why Morrowind is a classic. Then they went back to Imperial with um, Oblivion. Then they went pretty much still human stuff in Skyrim. So actually Morrowind is the standout, but it's the one that people love the most, as far as I experience. Uh, and it is such a, uh, a, a standout title. And I expect Elder Scrolls will be coming back to Daggerfall 
and maybe high rock or some variants of the such. Like I've always wanted to sort of explore elsewhere because the Khajiit culture is also pretty interesting, but now that I've... This is the first time I've talked to an Argonian NPC. That actually makes me really want to know about the Argonians. I've talked to Argonians in Skyrim, I've talked to Argonians in Oblivion, I've talked to Argonians in Morrowind. And none of them have been like... Like, I know Black Marsh is cool and stuff, but none of them have really sort of given the sense of Argonian culture and Argonian homeland than this guy. This, this guy, the, the thick Argonian b barman. <laughs> He's, he makes me want to know more. I want to go to Black Marsh now. What's your subject of study? The other, of course. Those ones not skinned in scale. We see that Septim's tribes will not be long satisfied with the thrones of men and the elder race. One day they will come to Black Marsh. Argonians have lost land once before when we did not know our enemy. I see, and what better place to learn the wants of men than at the bar? There are other places. Universities, the military, the magical guild, but I aim to chart man's geography of desire, which is most readily charted when he is drunk and blathering. <laughs> so, I'm not sure if there's been a culture change, because in... So in Morrowind, Argonians were typically slaves, right? The, the Dunmer were enslaving um, the Argonians and the Khajiit. But in Oblivion and Skyrim, the Argonians just seem to go wherever, right? Did they did they lose their their oneness in the Black Marsh, or is it just lazy writing? Did, did something happen with with the the tight knit bond? Like this guy is saying, he's still serving his 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 clan out here, right? The Argonians of Morrowind are slaves. The rest are not slaves. Yeah, but this guy's not a slave. He's he's still tied to his clan. He's saying this is a, a foreign study trip, essentially, and he's gonna go back to contribute to the clan, right? So he's still linked back to the clan. He's gonna go back, but the Argonians everywhere else are just feel like they're free agents, right? They don't feel like they're ever tied to their clan in Black Marsh, and I don't know whether that's a cultural change in the law or it's just lazy writing. Um, thesis bound subsistence. He did mention that. What are you talking about? Yes. This tavern, of course, both site and subsidy of my studies, as well as a fine storehouse of spirits. Tiber Septim will conquer Black Marsh in a few short years. They won't have the same loyalty to tribe, but will still be linked to the Hist. Ah, okay. So Tiber Septim did conquer Black Marsh. So after that, it's not the same. Hmm. Now, Smuggler's Den. Drikius, you mentioned taking part in some smuggling operations. Minor stuff is all, and mostly nil. Now that the governor's men are keeping such tabs on me. What can you tell me about the smuggler's den? It's run by some upright from the north. A quick to anger sort. And he only talks to members of the den. Hmm. How do I find out the password? I'd better keep moving. Can we talk later? Anytime, anytime. All right, so maybe the shopkeep will know. Because the, the guy who told me about the smugglers then, who said it's an open secret. Black Marsh, the treaty with Morrowind, then having been gifted Numidium by the tribunal, will mantle Lorcan and conquer the Somerset Isles. Oh. How have I been doing, Mighty Thug? Been doing well. I, I've actually... Most of this game is talking. And I actually love it. She floats through my dreams with the greatest of ease. The fat one-eyed lady with sweet-smelling knees. 
Name's Cyrus. You okay? No, I'm Crandall. <laughs> you seen a woman named Azara around? We just got told. Sure I have. Not, not that I remember names, though. Oh, but they remember mine. <laughs> them broad love Crandall. Have my way with them all, you know. <laughs> Well, the barkeep told us that they might spell, uh, spill secrets when they're drunk. What do you know about the group called the Restless League? Um, punks. Killed them, killed them all once I did. Bunch of red guard pansies. <laughs> they want me to join them, but I got too much thinking to do. Heavy load. I say, Richton's got it out for them. You watch out. All right. Rickton? Rickton doesn't have you scared? No, sir. I kicked his fat butt. <laughs> Not throw me in his catacombs. You're scared of the catacombs, eh? Didn't say that. Did not say that. Rickton throws the crowns in jail and pirates in the catacombs. I ain't neither. Doubt his cronies could take me anyway. All right. I've had enough. Good. <laughs> I've had enough. Good. Uh, not that way. What was this? That's just a door. Uh, the shop was back this way. I think it was. When was this game made? 98. 98. Uh... Where was the shop again? I think it was down this way. See if he knows the password to the smuggler's den, that elf. By the way, yes, we are on one hit point. Oh, nope. Put it back. Okay. Enter. Okay. Hello, Garrick. Garrick, how are you? Splendid, Cyrus. Splendid! Uh, maybe business? How's business these days? If it's not pirates stealing your cargo, it's Imperial taxes. I get by, though. All the ships heading for the Iliac Bay pass through here, so I get first crack at all their wares. As long as I can get that lazy Rolo to bring it up from the harbor. <laughs> Lazy Rolo, fat or sane. <laughs> All right, Imperials. The Empire crushed the Restless League. I assume so. They haven't been seen around Stros Mackay for months. The League pretended to be patriotic rebels after the Crown's defeat, but a few encounters with Imperial warships quieted them down right quick. All right, he doesn't know anything. Thanks for the time, Garrick. I'm a pretty bird. We are supposed to tell the old man something about his boat. So let's see if we can find him. Uh, we're at the point in these old school adventure RPGs that we're a little bit stuck. Because we don't know where to go. We're, we're getting more information and it's all very interesting. Let's slide down. Nice. Actually, why am I coming down here? Oh, he does have a boat. I suppose I should just... Cyrus! Hold on. Lad? He's not here. We saw him by the snake charmer last time. Pretty hard to find. Um, 
I guess we should talk to that guy who wanted to give us a quest or something. Let's see what what he has to say. This guy. Kotaro. Cyrus. Cyrus. Kotaro. Hello. Hello yourself, Cyrus. Okay. Uh... We can ask him about all this stuff, though. Is Zara? I wonder if you know my sister, Izara. I've come to Stros Mackay to find out what's happened to her. I'm afraid I don't know her. I'm just a simple working man. You might try Drekius up at the Dragon Tail. Pretty much everyone in Stros Mackay passes through his door eventually. All right, the League. What do you know about a group of ruffians calling themselves the Restless League? Damn them and their bloody-minded ways. They've done more to ruin Stros Mackay than the Four Bears and Empire combined. Yeah, if it weren't for them, this city would have been at peace months ago. Occupation? I haven't been in Hammerfell since before the war. How do you like being a citizen of the Empire? Sure beats war, my young friend. I won't lie to you, though. Hard to find honest labor these days. Four Bears would rather smirk than lift, and the Crowns don't have the back for it anymore. Sounds like the Crowns are taking their defeat pretty hard. Yeah, I've always stayed out of politics. Bad for business. Crown, forebear, I don't care. As long as their coin is true. My philosophy is, what's done is done. Live and let live. The grass is always greener, you know? Hmm. I guess the forebears are still savoring victory in the Civil War, eh? Yeah, you could say that, although you might not want to say it in their faces. They're a touchy lot these days. I've been up north for years, but I was pretty sure the Four Bears won the war. Of course they did. And the Four Bears like to bust up the Dragon Tail just in case anyone doubts it. Some ungenerous crowns like to point out the Imperial flags flying all over the palace, and the Imperial soldiers patrolling the streets. None of my concern, though, haha, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> sure. Now you're a contractor. You call yourself a contractor? What does that mean? Over here, we have someone who needs something done. Over there, we have someone who's looking for work. How do they find each other? That's where I come in. The League ruins Stros Mackay. Tell me about that. How is the Restless League responsible for ruining Stros Mackay? Burning or plundering half the cargoes headed for this port, stirring up the Imperials to ever more ruthless repression. The League doesn't seem to realize that the war is over, and they lost. You're saying the League was allied with the Crowns? That depends on who you ask. I don't know. I'm not one of your political gentlemen, always in someone else's business. I'm just a poor working stiff. A uh, bird in the hand is better, you know what they say. <laughs> and tell me about Drikius. Drikius? A friendly local lizard. Not that I have anything against him. Or her. Or whatever. <laughs> Can't ever tell what those Argonians. Runs the Dragon Tail, the tavern on the town square. Alright, now what work do you have for us? Tell me about this job you have for me. A simple task. Pick up an amulet from the Gasta and deliver it to the governor's palace. Now, to be honest, I've been having trouble finding someone to take the job. But I'm sure a robust lad such as yourself pays no attention to silly local superstitions. Are you interested? Sure. I'll take the job. That's how we get in. Splendid. Here's your hundred gold. I'll have the rest for you after you deliver the amulet to the governor. Uh, well, I'm sure you won't have any trouble, but, uh, you probably want to do this during the daylight. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's how we get into the governor's palace. About the job. Refresh my memory about this job you hired me for. A simple task. Pick up an amulet from the Gasta and deliver it to the governor's palace. Nagasta. Nagasta? Eh, a harmless old hermit. The more superstitious of my fellow citizens repeat silly rumors about him, but I put no stock in their tales. He lives in the old wizard's tower. Just follow the shoals on the northwest side of the island. 
Okay, the amulet. Any idea what's so important about this amulet? That's between the Gaster and the governor. I just get paid to find a delivery man. Wait, is is Nagasta supposedly the necromancer? I would have thought the necromancer would be on that undead island. But follow the shores... The shores? What? Which way? How much are you offering for this job? Like I said, I've been having trouble hiring for this job, so I'm upping the rate a bit. 100 up front and 200 more after completion. That's pretty high for a simple delivery. What's the catch? The pay's proportional to the danger. Nagasta's tower isn't exactly on the main road, you know? So you may have a little trouble getting there. Nothing that you can't handle, I'm sure. Okay, and the governor's palace? Where can I find the governor's palace? Straight at the top of the hill. You can't miss it. The grandest structure in Stross Mackay. Maybe in all of Hammerfell. Quite the tourist attraction before the late unpleasantness. And the superstitions. What superstitions do the locals harbor about this Nagasta? Oh, you know, they call him a necromancer. Prattle about him stealing people's souls, armies of undead, you know, that sort of thing. Nothing a well-armed fellow like yourself would worry about. Really? We'll talk later. Okay, so I got a bunch of gold. So I should go heal up at the temple. I hope... I hope it's a full heal. That would be appropriate. That would be appropriate. Uh, let's let's get to the temple. Oh, so let me just double check. I have a journal. You thought Mo Morrowind's journal was bad? This is literally just a a wall of text. Um. Accepted the job from Kotaro to deliver amulet to Governor Rickton on behalf of Nagasta. Pick up amulet from Nagasta. Living on the old wizard's tower on the shoals along the northwest side of the island. Northwest side of the island. So looking at the map. The shoals at the northwest side of the island. That's the Isle of Nagasta. Does he mean it's on the Isle of Nagasta? Or on the northwest side of this island? I'm actually confused. The spine is a shoals, yes, on the island. Okay. So to get into the palace, I have to go to the undead island. All right. Um... Let's heal up. Uh, this way. Okay. Okay. So he's 100% a necromancer then. <laughs> now, please be a full heal. 25 gold. Twenty-five gold should be a full heal, right? That's pretty expensive. Me down. Hello again, brother Niddle. It is good to see you, Cyrus. Uh, healing. I need you to tend to my wounds again, brother. I must ask you to pay the temple tax, of course. Will you? Yes. Fine. Until later, Brother Niddle. Goodbye, my son. Full heal, full heal. Hundred! Yes! Okay. Now, I do have more gold. I can buy something from the shop. I should get a shovel. We're going to a necromancy island. I should buy a shovel. Or should I buy the torch? Same sound effect from Morrow India. <laughs> Let's go to the shop and see how much money we have and just buy as much as we can. I think that's a good plan. So we've healed up. I 
got an actual quest. I can't believe I went to that island before <laughs> I got the quest or anything. But I feel like I enjoyed the the aimless exploration a little bit. I did actually enjoy that. Because I don't think we can progress until we can get into the palace. Okay, let me check how much money I have. 132. All right. Garrick, how are you? Splendid, Cyrus. Splendid! I'd like to make a purchase. Splendid. What do you need? This guy likes the word splendid. Okay. How much is the shovel? The shovel over there. How much? A sturdy shovel. Just the thing for the intrepid treasure hunter. Guaranteed not to break, scratch, or dent. A bargain at only 30 gold. All right, buy it. I'll take it. You won't regret it. All right, how about the torch? How much for the torch? A classic design, functional and long-lasting. For you, Cyrus, 20 each. All right. I'll take it. The best quality, I assure you. Now, what is aloe? What's aloe going for today? Aloe leaves from Southern Hammerfell, the best. Fresh every week, excellent for soothing those aches and pains, and just 15 gold per bunch. Aloe vera? Well, there's a different aloe plant in Tamriel, but I guess I should? I'll take it. A pleasure doing business with you, Cyrus. Feather? Interesting feathers. Ah, yes, from the exotic canna bird, a favorite of mine, for they are bred on Somerset Isle, bred for their beauty, I might add. They make an excellent gift for 10 gold. A gift? I'm a pretty bird. 10 gold. I could, I could try to bring a gift. It's only 10 gold. I'll take it. You won't regret it. Okay, I have a gift. Thanks Let's for try to go to the palace. How much was all that? We still have 57 gold. I bought everything and we still have 57 gold. Okay, let's try have those feathers as a gift for the governor. That might work. That's, that's just a plane. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's go to the palace and say, I have a gift. And see if he, he takes it. He does seem like the sort that might take a bribe. So hopefully... Otherwise, we're gonna have to go to Undead Island because I'm I'm out of leads. I guess I could try repair that bell again. Let's just save here in case something goes wrong. It is a it is a if sure. What do you want? I want to see Richter. I need to speak with Governor Richter. What business do you have with him? I have a gift. I'd like to offer him a gift. He's not interested, Redguard. Fine. Can you tell me about the palace? This is the palace, correct? That's correct. That's all for now, but I'll be back. Right. Sure. I can make heal stuff with aloe. How do you make things? Oh, you can combine items, right? I wonder if there's like a hidden entrance around the palace. Or anything that stands out. This god's just on the walls like that. Oh, this palace is huge. Is this the old quarters? I think it is. This oh, this feels like there should be a secret, right? The game's told us so much about the world though. We know there's, what is it, goblins living underneath everything, but they're warded off by the big statues. 
Oh, there's guards along these roads. Is that something? That looks like something. It's locked. There's a hidden back door that's locked. It's locked. There is something back here. Okay. So we found something. So the day just lasts forever, I think. Oh, is it actually a dead end? Can I make it around here? I'm just gonna load. <laughs> Bring me back here. Alright, so I guess we just have to go to Undead Island for the amulet. The skeletons are pretty easy to kill, though there might be a lot of them. But that's the quest, so that's where we go. It's quite it's quite a journey though. Though we do have a full inventory, we have full health. I don't have the pirates should remain dead. Will I run into the old man? I gotta tell him a message. see him. Maybe he's the one with the interesting boat over there. Hello. Wait, is this him? Oh, that's him. Well? Trithic. He's right here. I'm supposed to tell him something. Trithic, may I bother you again? Of course, my boy. Uh, boat damaged. Lakeen said your boat was damaged by vandals. By the looks of it. Woke up one morning and the midboard was broken. Hope he gets to it soon. Thanks, Trip. I've got to go. Okay. <laughs> That's all, I guess. Back into the wild. Uh, we just follow the road until we get to the weird undead port. Well, jump over the bridges. Okay, second time over the bridges shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, there's actually quite a lot of this island we could still explore. I mean, if we look at the map, I could go down to Saintsport. I could explore the northern coast. But I guess Undead Island it is. It's all to do with my skills, so... And I'm pretty sure I've gotten all the items I can. Uh, I didn't go into the Mage's Guild. I bought a torch, I bought a shovel. What else could we need? We still have three health potions. And boy, I, I made the healing worth it, right? <laughs> 99 hit point heal. How do we find the amulet? Wait, when... It, we're supposed to find the man who lives in the tower on that island, right? The old hermit. It's so weird how we're not constantly attacked by creatures. There's no rats or cliff racers or anything. Alright, let's make a save for our adventure to the island. Here's our necromancy. The game just crashed. <laughs> We're gonna have to walk back there. Alright, I'll skip ahead, we'll be right back. Alright, the save actually worked, we didn't need to reload. Also, look at our inventory, we have all this stuff. I don't know if I can just use the aloe. 
All right, but I have the save. Let's get over the bridges. Parkour. Parkour. Okay, did it. Right, this one. Okay. Okay, once you know where the holes are, it's fine. Uh, it's just jump over them. Are those slaughterfish in the waters? Or are they actually supposed to be sharks? Oh, this is... Let me make the save here. I'll just overwrite necromancy. This is a big jump. Didn't. You think they're not slaughterfish? Oh, you can just jump up like that if you're stuck. Okay. Here we are at the creepy boat. Which is actually against the coast now. Ugh. Ugh. I just remembered the skeleton have that screaming sound. Okay, the game might crash, so let's save here. Hey, the boatman. It's three coins to cross. I hope we can get this amulet. I hate the undead. It said go there during the day, but this is as bright as it gets. Now this is a day and age where the graphics are not scary, so they put extra scary sound effects. <laughs> and I hate it! I wonder if those first two skeletons stay dead or do they respawn? Okay, let's save frequently. Overwrite necromancy. Just gonna loosen my earbud so it's not so loud. <laughs> hmm. uh, I guess that tower is in the middle, yeah? We're here for an amulet. We're here for an amulet. There's two of them. Don't do a lot of damage. It's a strength potion. Five gold pieces. Does it mark his tower on the map? Southwest? It should be. Wait, did it say... No, it should be southwest, right? Because we went northwest to the Isle of Nagasta. Uh, what level am I? There's no levels. I should head down this way, I guess. 
No, actually, I think we have to go around. Are those just some bottles there? What are those? Health potion. Strength potion. Health potion. Okay, nice. They just gave us some stuff. Then let's save. Uh, so to get to the southwest, I think there was a... We have to head... Oh, so the road that here just loops around. If I head south, it loops into that one bit there. Is there anything there? Maybe that's where he is. Guess we have to check. Pieces. Seven gold pieces. Some gold. This should help. Some gold. This should help. Okay. It seems like this is just... A crypt, right? No? Or does this go further? Alright. We got some potions. We should be able to deal with things. Pieces. Five gold pieces. No skeletons spawning up here? Really? Of all the places? Alright. That was nothing. They even voice how you pick up items? Yeah. <laughs> There's a surprising amount of voice acting. For an Elder Scrolls game, there's a lot of voice acting. Where am I supposed to find this amulet? There's a zombie walking right there in the distance. You guys know how I hate zombies. But let's go face it. Why? Why must there be? There's so many of them. And they don't drop any loot. They move slow though. He got back up! They don't stay dead. keeps playing those noises, but I don't... Nope, someone did spawn. These guys can run. A health potion. That sounds like a good idea. Okay. Does anyone know where I'm supposed to go so I don't have to deal with this island so much? <laughs> Because those zombies, they're everywhere, and they don't die. Look, he's just stood there. Oh. I'm 
I guess I could just run. So what what did it say? Um, the superstitious locals call Nagasta a necromancer, which he 100% is. Uh, collect bounds of 200 gold after delivery. Katara identifies Nagasta as harmless old hermit living in the old wizard's tower on the shoals along the northwest side of the island. See, it doesn't sound like... Northwest side of the island. Of this island? It's not it's not clear of which island it's talking about, right? Northwest side of this island? I guess I could just try run along the northwest coast. He was talking about the big island, not this one. Really? Does he not even live on this island? But this is Nagasta's island. I mean, I don't see anything on the map that could maybe indicate a wizard's tower. How about a run through them? Yeah, I could probably just run through. Are we... Do we not even have to be on this island? <laughs> I don't have to fight the, the zombies, but I do have to fight the skeletons, I think. Um, because they run fast. Devil's Den is marked. Ugh. No, but this island is northwest from the main island. I guess... Let's just try run. See if we can outrun the skeletons as well. There's a skeleton. So we're on the north side of the island, I think. Can someone Google it? Oh, can someone tell me if we're even supposed to be on this island? Because the skeletons go ah, and the zombies go ooh. And I don't want to be here. Those bats go, eh, and I don't want those either. It's a gate. health potion. I hate this place so much. I don't see an old wizard's town. Is he on the main island? He can't be. Turn to settlers too. Uh, not right now. No plans. His tower is the big spiky towering thing behind the metal bar gate on this island. Okay. So we are supposed to be here. some skeletons. Attack. Any more? Excellent. Excellent. Seven gold pieces. Seven gold pieces. We've got 103 gold. All right. But Carlful, can you tell me how to open up the metal hmm. bar gate? Can you just tell me? <laughs> I just want to know. Because I can't stand being on this island. Did 
we only attract two skeletons from all that? Nope, there's another one. Seven gold pieces. Drink a potion. Pull the lever on the northwest end of the necropolis to open the crypt containing a crowbar. Use it to open the locked gate. Turn the wheel found next to the eye statue raised platform. It rotates the head of the large figure so you can pass over the chasm. Approach the gate outside Nagasta's tower and speak with Nagasta to get the amulet. Okay, Bakafel, copy paste that. <laughs> As chat moves, I'm gonna need you to repaste that. Pull the lever on the northwest end of the necropolis. So we get back to the necropolis. Northwest end. Right is north. So, this right corner, as soon as we turn inside. Oh, you have to go to work right now? Oh, no problem, no problem. Someone else copy it. It's closed. This is the northwest end. Maybe on the outside? Oh, I think the game crashed. <laughs> Good thing we save often. <laughs> Alright, let's let's try this one more time. A lever to open the door. It's not on the outside, is it? So this is the northwest end. Is that a lever? It is. So that opens that. Okay, the zombies are slow, and I don't think they do a lot of damage. So this opens the crypt. What's this? Which has a crowbar. Swarms of bats flying. What? And another health potion. It's a skull lever. Yeah, I think I saw that skull earlier, but I didn't think it was a lever. So that gives us the crowbar. Use it to open the locked gate. Turn the wheel fan. Use it to open the locked gate. So the locked gate is over here. So we might be able to use... What? The crowbar to open the locked gate. Huh, looks like the crowbar broke. Okay. And then... Hold on. Reading instructions. <laughs> I just don't want to be on this island. I should save. Necro 2. Okay. Uh, turn the wheel found next to the eye statue on the raised platform. It rotates the head of a large figure so you can pass over the chasm. Okay, uh, turn the wheel found next to the eye statue on the raised platform. Eye statue on the raised platform. What? Okay, maybe it's further down. Uh, there's a structure over there. I guess I just have to keep going. Zombies, okay. Eye statue. I think that's the eye statue up there. Okay. 
I'm just gonna keep running. I know this skeleton's coming for me. So I have to turn the wheel next to the eye statue. Is that it? should help you're gonna come for me no that's not a wheel this is the statue that I think will turn how do I get up to the eye statue let's kill this guy Potion of iron skin. Potion of iron skin. Okay. There was a zombie there. Okay. On the map, it's eye located straight below. So I see the eye. I just don't see the way up. Oh, is that the staircase? Yes. It's this way. So a health potion. Okay, so here's the eye statue. Turn the wheel. That turns that, so it allows us to cross. That feels like I'm going to die. Let's go back and save on necromancy. Continue. Okay. By the way, I can only do this with you guys. I can, I can never get past zombies. I have this weird... Fear of them. They just set me off so strongly. I can only do it with you guys here. <laughs> so that allows us to cross this thing. No! Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Do I have to jump on that? Excuse me. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to jump. Okay. Climb up. And this allows us to cross. I'm going to save right here. Alternating. Okay, there is a skeleton trying to get to me, but I don't think they can jump. <laughs> okay. Oh, so approach the gate. He's just an old hermit, huh? He's like one of those things in Dagoth Ur's Red Mountain stuff. What is he? Could you not Cyrus, just deliver this it? This one is Nagatha, the necromancer of Stros Magai. Have we met? The contractor informed this one of your impending arrival. He did? This one tenders you the amulet that will be delivered. To the governor, right? Make sure of its safety. Deliver to him personally. The contractor will pay you the rest of your fee after the matter is settled. Oh, I can ask him stuff? Here's the amulet. Okay. It's a dragon. Can I ask you about my sister? Are you familiar with a woman named Izara? Other souls this one has gathered of late have whispered the name. She's my sister. Then count your sister among the living, for she's not cold yet. Or oh, this one would know her well. Okay. How about the Restless League? 
I'd imagine this island is treacherous to reach by ship. Imagine impossible. This one is amused by our imaginings. So you are probably never threatened by the pirates of the Restless League? This one is never threatened, Cyrus. But, yes, this one knows the League well. You do? This one has tallied many of their rebellious souls in the present reign. What do you think of them? What does one think of a gold in one's pouch? Does one judge this coin better than another? They're both spent the same. All the dead are fair currency, then. Your wit accounts it well. Okay. How about Stross Mackay? How long have you lived on Stross Mackay? How long in legend? This one arrived in the Sard's better years, and was given fair compass of these foul shoals. In that time, this one was but a tail in passing, a shiver in riddle. How long have you been better than a legend, then? Since the end of the war, how could this one neglect so rich a harvest, a sea so brim with the dead, that its tides swelled round the world? So this one conjured a net to catch them all, these lost and torn island souls. Thereafter, this one's presence has been well known here, perhaps somewhat feared as well. Okay. He's surprisingly forthwith <laughs> with all of his information. Tell me about your necromancy. I thought Hammerfell was plagued by necromancy only in the north, where Sentinel lay in similar shadow. Do not speak ill, mortal, of this one's liege lord, the King of Worms, or his grace grants these shores as this one's bountiful hunting grounds. Is your foul practice not contested by the men of this island? Cyrus, what men are left? This one wonders, all women of like mind, for violence against me. They were all slain in the war, and dead now they serve this one without protest. The Maiders Guild wines, as is its wont when practitioners of this one's craft challenge their dominion, but the governor shrewdly weighs his one's concerns about theirs. Why is that? This one is a better friend than enemy. They serve you. How do these souls so collected serve you? This one's business in souls doesn't concern you. Let the Deja Lords look with favor on a necromancer with a stock in trade. Should scarcely surprise you. Mage's Guild? Why does the Mage's Guild hate you? Outside the obvious reason. Such unsettled jobs, little trouble this one, Red God. As for the guilds and Mati, with their archmage dead in the sea dust, their impotence breeds spite against this one's masteries. The archmage died? What happened to the archmage? He perished in the war, protecting the crown, and was lost at sea. I lament that the snare was not then set, for such a soul would have been fit to cultivate for nights on end. He was powerful then, this Archmage? Scarcely. He was noted for his trappings, not his trivial skills. His magical artifacts, however, such might even be worth this one's notice. No, oh, I'll get right on it. You know, I never want to come back here, so I'm going to exhaust the dialogue. Tell me about the Empire. Has the coming of the Empire given you much concern? This one is neither not unwary of the Empire, nor eager to wear the leash, but the governor has proven himself an honorable man. As this one offers him this gift to encourage his attention to the affairs of the living, leaving me the rest. Souls? The illicit soul trick. How does it work? If mortals knew the power they harbored, and how so unearned, a grace inexplicably given by the outer gods will provide to plenty and without good guidance. If they knew, they may wise work as hard to keep the within as much as their precious withouts that easily slip their skin and withers as paper before flame. For that is the truth of it. The body house is that which it cannot ever for long withstand. Which answers little. In short, the soul snare captures the smokes of silly folk who neglect the sanctity of their souls. 
You know, I actually don't want to talk to him anymore. I changed my Goodbye, mind. Goodbye, Nagasta. Farewell, Cyrus. A pleasure doing business with you. I just want to go. I just want to go. Uh, getting back. I don't want to explore the rest of the island, so I'm just going to beeline back. Let's make a save. Try not just walk up here. There is a walk button actually, I just remembered. Uh, where is... Okay, down the back. I jumped here, right. Okay. Uh. Time to run back home. I gotta return if I wanna play through the game. Ah, uh, Of course I would make you come back this way. I see that skeleton. Just run. I, I want to get out of here. I want to deliver the amulet to the governor. That's all I want to do. I think it's this way. Yeah, we sh it should be this. The game looks old as the hills, but the gameplay and voice acting offer a surprising level of immersion. Yeah, actually, one of my favorite things so far has been just talking to people. There's a lot of varied voice acting, and then a lot of the writing is actually amazing. It's actually really, really good writing. Way better than I was expecting. <laughs> Like, maybe some of the best writing I've heard in the Elder Scrolls series. There's been some weird stuff as well, and weird voice acting, but a lot of it's been very good. Get on. He doesn't look like the talking type. Perhaps I should offer him a fare. Gold. Also, save. So I don't have to make that trip again. I can't use this by itself. What? Pay the boatman. There's a skeleton chasing me. Let's let's get off this wretched island. Yeah, then there's Maria. Maria. The gardener. Ah. Oh. Finally, back to the sunny isle. Yard, you were just watching my Daggerfall video. Ironically, you made that game look better than this one. Well, that's because Daggerfall has Unity and mods. This game does not have Unity or mods. Just switch back to the sword. Let's make a save. Back home. Made a huge difference here. Yeah. Daggerfall was two years before this game. And this was four years before Morrowind. But you can actually see a lot of. From Daggerfall to this, you can actually see this as kind of a middle ground between Daggerfall and Morrowind. Because this is starting to. Oof, just about. 
This is starting to have some Morrowind-esque features. And the jumping is the jumping is surprisingly responsive. You think that when you press the button, it's gonna take a while to jump, but it actually jumps when you think it's going to jump. So the parkour is actually not bad. Surprisingly, right? Like you'd think jumping puzzles on a game like this would be really bad and annoying, but it's actually fine. It's actually fine. The first time going across the bridges was kind of tough because the, the planks would just fall out, but after that it was okay. But we're finally going to get into the palace, I think, at request of the governor. Follow the road this way. Why, why do RPGs and adventure games always have to have an undead part? Oh, speaking of, this game was actually up for a bunch of awards uh, when it came out. Um, but I think it lost them all to Grim Fandango. <laughs> Grim Fandango took all the awards. But this was nominated for quite a few. It was in in competition with Grim Fandango, and I th I think it didn't win because this is sort of a middle ground, but it's an action adventure game, right? But it's not it's not like Tomb Raider, which is more action. But it's not like Grim Fandango, which is more adventure, right? So it's sort of this weird middle ground, which makes it very interesting and unique. But it is. Um, Maybe it's sort of a halfway point. You just tell this guy. That's good money you're wasting, Cyrus. Still hanging around here. Cyrus! Kataro, hello. Cyrus, you were supposed to be delivering that amulet. We had a deal. Okay, okay. We'll talk later. Let's get to the palace. Like my matching clothes, yeah. Happen to have this on hand. Uh, wait, it's this way, and then this way. Good. Well, is this? I don't know. There's, there's no real main quests to finish, is there? I suppose this is as main quest as it gets, right? Here we go. Definitely save here. Of course, that's where the game crashes again. <laughs> Be right back. Okay. Let's talk to the guard. What do you want? See Richter. I need to speak with Governor Richton. What business do you have with him? Deliver amulet. I have an item he's expecting from the necromancer. Very well. Hand it over. Sorry, but it comes with a message for Richton's ears only. I'm gonna have to see him. That's not going to happen. Then he's never gonna see this amulet again. All right, Richton. You win. I'll <laughs> signal you in. This man insisted he deliver the amulet to you himself, my lord. A certain amount of assistance is admirable, isn't it, Dram? Very well. Your job is done. Give the amulet to one of the guards. Hold on, Governor. I have a few questions to ask you first, about a woman named Azara. 
He's no courier. This is not an audience, sir. You forget yourself. She's been missing for a few months and people think she may be in trouble. They also say you might have something to do with it. My lord. No, no, I'll handle it. I know of this Isara, young man. Her troubles are of her own making, I'm sure. When you mix with thugs and murderers, like I said, you might have something to do with it. Under Imperial law, the Restless League and this Isara woman, a known consort and confederate of the League, are guilty of piracy, sedition, and treason, and subject to summary execution. In my capacity as governor, such executions are my responsibility. But this Isara has not come to my notice, and if she has disappeared, she has done so without my help. And now I have other pressing affairs. Are you saying she was part of the Restless League? You are dismissed, Courier. We don't seem to understand each other, Governor. Izara is my sister, and this isn't an audience. It's an interrogation. Tell me all you know, or I'll give you more trouble than the League ever has. You would threaten an Imperial Governor? Are you simple? Threaten me, and you prove yourself a traitor, and must die for it. Guards, seize that man! Cross with the Red Guard! I have this rebel! I'll steal yours yet. Fall you back and let's surrender you! No won't escape! He's only one! I'm... No match! How do you kill three You're Imperial Guards? Who slump? Uh. I have this rebel! Uh. Take that! Ah! How? How, do you, how are you supposed Shield. to do this? So, who's, uh, fall back and let me! You! He's only one! You're Come on! Uh, Maybe I'm not supposed that. to fight them. Ah! Uh, uh. I accidentally selected no. Okay, load. I don't know how to get around that, but actually, this seems like a great place to bring this to a close because I don't think I can figure out how to get around that. Let me try one more time. I'm gonna just try one thing. I'm gonna try one thing. What do you want? Didn't you get some potions? Yeah, but you can't just use potions. This isn't Skyrim where you can just eat a I bunch need to of speak cheese with wheels. Governor Rick. You have to stop. What Drink the potion. What business do you have with him? Done. Let me I just try one thing. He's expecting from the next. Let me just try one thing. Very well. And see if it works. Sorry, but that you he... can't skip dialogue. All right. What if I just run straight up to him and stab him? <laughs> yeah, you can't just drink potions. <laughs> That's Skyrim. This man Open inventory, to the eat 20 cheese wheels. Under Tell me all you know, or Fred Die is right now. Come on, die, Red Guard. Come You're on, trifling with him. Give him up to me. <laughs> okay, we can't do that. <laughs> All right, that's the end of our little foray into Red Guard. Uh, it was way, way more interesting than I thought it was going to be. It's actually very, very cool. The writing, the adventuring, the questing, the characters are all very memorable. There's some weird voice acting, but even when the voice acting's weird, the writing is good. So it's it's been a pretty cool adventure. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed my outfit. Uh, it's good, it's good. Uh, we've now checked out Daggerfall and Redguard, both set in Hammerfell, which is uh, very cool to see. Like, I've never jumped back before Morrowind before, and it's... I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Da Daggerfall was a bit weird, but this adventure game for Redguard, I think you could spend quite some time with it nowadays, just for the story and the writing. It hmm. was actually very cool. Anyway, 
That's going to be all for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, please do check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash gamerzack. Direct support means we run fewer ads. Join us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, mm. Facebook, at gamerzack. On all of those, I'm active and contactable. Drop by and say hi on the Discord, discord.gg slash gamerzack. And if you're watching on YouTube, click the buttons on the screen right now for so much more content. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.